tell that story to my family. Yeah, you were just saying about your mom and your dad, and you were saying how you're stronger. Yeah. What were you saying? They just saw it, figured mm -hmm. that I was stronger. Mm -hmm. I was. Why were you stronger? How? Gave it up. You gave what up? The cigarettes. Yeah. And you became stronger. I was stronger and um, it, it was funny because you didn't take the strength, it didn't take the money. Because you spent less money because you didn't have to buy the cigarettes, right? <laughs> I didn't have to buy the cigarettes. And it wasn't as hard as people said, giving up smoking? No. How come everybody else has a hard time giving up smoking, do you think? Well, because it was bad for your union. You mean because there were people making money and pushing the cigarettes on people? Yeah. Oh. But you're saying that once you gave it up, it was not as hard as people said? No. But you were stronger. People thought you were stronger. Yeah. Hmm. And I, so I was the one who was stronger. Mm hmm And then you wrote about it for, who did you write about it for? Newspapers, school newspapers. Really? And did people then contact you and say, your experience helped me to give oh, up? Oh, yeah, some? yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They made a big deal of it to me. I could do something that they couldn't do. Mm -hmm. They made a fuss about that. Right. Sounds like it inspires other people, though, too. It was very, it was very, uh, me giving up something that was hard for somebody else was hard. Yeah. And they said about it to me. So does that, does that relate to what you're doing now with your diet? Because a lot of people have diabetes like you had. They're obese like you were. Now look at you, you got no, no belly fat. You got no over, you're not overweight anymore. Yeah. Didn't you used to be overweight? Yeah. Even Disney made a cartoon character out of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Disney made a cartoon character out of me. Yeah. Yeah. What was his name? Mr. Oh, gee. Um, With an S. Mr. S Snoops? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Snoops. Yeah. And he was fat, right? Yeah. And he was always wanting something, that craving something. That was the something. idea, that he would get fat. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then he, it would stop. Right. And then you were in another Disney movie. You were this guy here. You recognize him? Well, he was just weak. He just... He was weak? Well, if he, if he didn't give up something, mm -hmm. sort of... Sort of you know, if, if you would eat stuff, you weren't worried about it. Mm -hmm. They wondered about that, what was going on with you. Right. So first you gave up the cigarettes. But that, when, you were, when you were smoking, you were thin. Yeah. And then when you stopped smoking, then you ate a lot. You ate more, yeah. And then you got fat. You got far fatter. Yeah. And then you got the diabetes. So when did you stop eating the, the sugar and the grains, the wheat? My boy, when you were getting fatter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I was getting and fat too. you just too. gave it up. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting fat too. <laughs> you were? Oh yeah, I was getting these, these cheeks, these hamster cheek jowls. And I was getting a belly. And I was getting depressed. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, because I got your genes. I have the same genes. I was pre-diabetic. I was getting the same, oh, really? the same blood problems. Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah. it was right with me, too. Yeah. Once you got that stuff, it was because you had it. Right. But and then you gave it up. You got thinner. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're not giving it up. Everybody said, oh, well, how have you gotten to do that? Right. Yeah. And he, all of our family members have had problems being overweight with diabetes. All of my uncles and aunts and cousins, we've all suffered this. Well, think, not all of them. No, that's true. That's true. But a lot of the, a lot of the Culhane family 
on one side or the other. The Irish side of our family has struggled with these issues. But now you're, you're here telling us that you're stronger and you gave up the cigarettes and then you gave up the sugar and the flour and the bread. And you had dementia. Dementia? Yeah, it's when you forget a lot of things and your brain doesn't work right. You had that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you're recovering from dementia? Well, if you got a, any weight mm -hmm. and you said you were gaining weight, mm -hmm. but you didn't want to. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And the fact that you gave that stuff up, and people would say, oh, my God, how are you going to do that? How are you doing it? I mean, do you miss any of that stuff? Do you miss cigarettes? Do you miss sugar? Not very much. Really? You get to the point where you say, I should give this up. Uh -huh. And you just give it up. And then you feel better. Wow. You know. <laughs> they used to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's powerful, powerful stuff. Yeah, well, you feel about giving anything up. Mm -hmm. You felt better. Right. So do you think there's hope for other people who are suffering from diabetes or being overweight or depression or dementia? Oh, yeah. Like you're coming back from a terrible time of dementia to tell people you've been to the other side You've seen what it looks like when your brain is damaged and your body's damaged, and now you're coming back. Well, on this, they get a little funny thing they do. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, flying, John. You fly. You know, and they, they think the idea of being a flyer Mm -hmm. It's a great idea. Right. Oh, you're saying it's like being high, like getting high. When you smoke cigarettes, take drugs, or eat bad food, you fly, you, you, you feel high. Yeah. But you're not, it's not a good idea. Because you're high, but you're not grounded anymore. But to you, you are high, you are seeing stronger. Mm -hmm. You are doing this stuff. Because the other people are not doing it. Oh. And they're going crazy because it feels terrible to them mm -hmm. to try anything that they don't see you, you want to do so bad. Yeah. Why are these people flying? Mm -hmm. Well, because they're walking around doing something better. Wow. So this is a different kind of flying now. Now you're flying higher. You're reaching a higher place because you've been able to conquer your addictions to things that were bad for you that made you high in another way. Yeah. You're getting higher in a good way, getting closer to heaven, so to speak. Yeah, and you're talking about flyers. If you look at civilian life mm -hmm. and you look at people who aren't paying attention to something you have to do, and you're thinking it's good that you have to do it, you feel you're different. Mm -hmm. Ah, and that makes you feel lonely sometimes. Lonely? Don't you? You feel lonely sometimes doing things that other people aren't doing? Well, yeah, but that's the stuff that's better for you to do than it is for other people. Well, those are words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well. yeah. But I mean... Then you go to high school or you go to college and you see the people who used to do stuff. Yeah. And now they're not doing it. And you say, well, why did you start doing what you're doing? And you say, well, I just gave it up. And they say, you gave it up? My God, what gave you the power to give it up? You say, well, I gave it up. He said, it's like the other stuff I've given up. And, of course, what I've given up is, uh, it makes me stronger. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I like that. <laughs> like feeling stronger, huh? Oh, jeez. Feels good to be well, stronger. Well, I would think when I see you walking around, it's like you're running or you're, you know, it's like you're doing, uh, and it's just like you're giving, giving stuff up and doing, uh, and they talk about giving up things. Mm -hmm. So they like that. I mean, this is, I used to see people doing this. It wasn't a joke. The, the, uh, I used to think of the people who gave up smoking. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about <laughs> these guys who were not giving up stuff. Yeah. And they were people we lived on the street. Mm -hmm. And they had strength. Yeah. We were surprised about them mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they were giving up cigarettes, and you knew people who did cigarettes, and then suddenly they were giving it up, you saw somebody who had a, a, a you know, well, Somebody who actually uh, improved themselves, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's more to see. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that uh, that testimony. Oh well, yeah, you're you're appreciative. Yeah. I mean, it's a you know because high school people were always looking up stuff to give up. Like in Lent, when you give up stuff, you give up stuff for Lent, right? Yeah. 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 All right, well, it's just, we're just after Easter, so I'm going to end the video there because the battery's about to die. But on that note, thank you, John Culhane. You're welcome. And thank you, Tasia. You're welcome. <laughs>